Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Aboshi Mirian and I'm the lead photographer at Mimi Creation Studios, Lagos, Nigeria. I want to say thank you to all my existing subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, for liking our videos, for dropping comments once in a while. Thank you so much. I love you all. And for those of you who have not subscribed yet to our channel, please do. You never can tell. You might just learn one or two things at, at some point in, in the channel. So thank you. In anticipation that you are going to subscribe to my channel, you are going to like our videos, and these little um, gestures just encourages us to do more. Thank you. Today I'm going to be talking about the three reasons why I would go for the parabolic umbrella as my diffuser. Thank you. Sit back, watch, listen, enjoy yourself. Mwah. diffuser. A diffuser simply put is a device that spreads light evenly without having harsh shadows. So examples of diffusers are your octoboxes, your snoots, the parabolic umbrella, the beauty dish, the strip box and so many other diffusers. And um, one thing I need you to note is that there's a difference between the diffuser and the light source. The diffuser is not the light. The light source could be your strobe, it could be sunlight, it could be lamp, it could be window light, it could be touch light or any form of light that you have. So those are ones are the light sources. The diffusers simply help to modify the light to the quality of light, whether hard or soft that you want on your subject. The number one reason why the parabolic umbrella is my preferred diffuser is the fact that it's pretty easy to set up and very compact. So setting it up is not... It's not going to take you more than like two minutes to set it up. And it's pretty compact when you want to go for outdoor shoot. It's easy to move around and it's easy to set up and, and um, collapse at the same time. So it's a very useful advantage that I have with the parabolic umbrella compared to some other diffusers that we know. Secondly, the parabolic umbrella is typically larger than every other umbrella and it has a distinctive wraparound quality that makes the light so natural and, and um, wraps around the subject with so much natural feel, not having to have you know, that hot spot that some of the modifiers give. So it's very easy to use the parabolic umbrella to replicate natural light, window light, sunlight even. So it's pretty useful with that. Finally, the parabolic umbrella gives you a very soft quality of light, which makes it very flattering for newborn shoots, for child shoots, and even for female portraits. The soft quality of light that comes from it is due to the fact that it's really large. So when the light comes into the umbrella, it bounces on the surface inside, spreads around, and comes out through a, a diffuser, a diffusing cloth that also helps further soften the light before it reaches the subject. This process of it going into the umbrella and coming back makes the light very soft, very soft and very flattering. If you're shooting newborn, I don't, I don't think that you should use a cone. I don't think that you should use a beauty dish because those, those ones have um, a very harsh output of light. And for a newborn shoot, for a child shoot, you want the child to look very soft very subtle, very cuddly, and so I would always go for the parabolic umbrella when shooting newborn, child, female portraits. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned one or two things from today's video about why I choose the parabolic umbrella over other diffusers. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, send in your comments, send in your questions, and I might even make a video answering your questions. Thank you so much. I love you all.